Now, one thing about acids and bases is that they neutralize each other. Acid neutralizes base to form water. So I happen to have a, a beaker filled with water. Now, the way I can tell it's water, I have the indicator, universal indicator. I'm going to put a few drops in here, and it turns kind of a greenish color. So this is neutral water with a pH of roughly 7. Okay, Probably a little off because it's tap water. So now I happen to have over here, I happen to have sodium hydroxide. So this is sodium hydroxide, so I'm going to add a little bit of uh, universal indicator that you can kind of see it's kind of a blue color for the universal indicator. And on this side, I happen to have uh, nitric acid, which um, is here. I'm going to add a similar kind of thing. Notice it turns it red. All right. Now, one thing to note about these two beakers of the acid and the base is I actually have um, this is uh, the acid is twice as concentrated as is the base. So if I have a stoichiometric ratio, if I pour them together, they should neutralize and form neutral water. So I'm going to pour them together. I'll pour the red and uh, the acid into the base. So if I do that, it should turn to the same color. Let's see if I'm right. You know, it's still a little bit blue, so not quite. That, it's really important to try and get it just the right. So Mr. Sanders probably needs more acid in here. Yeah, it looks like it to neutralize it. So I'm going to throw a little more acid into this, and I should eventually... Yeah, I didn't measure these real, real accurately. Mr. I just Sam's kind of threw them in there. Now it's got... Yeah, well... You can get it probably just... Oop. Now, what did I just do, Mr. Sam? You went too far, yeah. That's too acidic, so now I'm going to add some more base. So this is called the, the rough way to neutralize things. And guess what? We just ran out of base. I added too much acid. But if I were to, I could neutralize it if I ran out of sodium hydroxide. If I were to continue to add it, I could get it to the green color if I didn't run out of base. But you can kind of go back and forth. And it, it was neutralized, but then I sort of unneutralized it by adding too much of the more concentrated nitric acid. That's pretty cool, Mr. Sam. Those colors are so beautiful. What? <laughs> They're beautiful. It's pretty. They're neutralizing. They were. Yeah, they neutralize things. So neutralization, you uh, put an acid with the base and it neutralizes itself. Yep. Now, you got to be careful. I mean, if you make those, if you make it exactly right, you can like mix them together and drink it. But if you make one mistake, then you're drinking hydrochloric acid or sodium hydroxide yeah, yeah. or whatever else. Yeah, yeah. That would not you don't want to drink. So, hey, what is a neutralization reaction? A short podcast here. Yeah. Right? All right. Hold on. There we go. All right. Um, oh. What is the definition of a neutralization yeah, well, reaction? A neutralization is when you mix equal numbers of moles of acid. Equal moles. And a base. Of acid. With equal moles of base. Yeah. And what you're going to end up with is water and salt. Salt water. Yeah, so you're going to end up with, well, what do you mean by salt water? You're going to end up with water plus, plus the a salt. A salt, right. A lot not of people get confused with salt and not, sodium chloride. Right, not so necessarily. You can make sodium chloride yes, in water, yeah. but not necessarily. So here's the general example. An acid plus a base will make water plus a salt. Right, some sort of ionic compound. Yes. Basically, what you're going to get, basically, <laughs> you're going to get... That was down, wasn't it? Basically, yeah. Sorry. You're going to get the cation from the base combining with the anion from the acid. Yeah. And the definition of left. the word salt, by the way, yeah. is an ionic compound. It is. For all intents and purposes. Mm -hmm. So let's do some specific examples. Okay. So let's say I have... Let's um, do the one we did in the video. We which have was HCl. HCl and in, in sodium hydroxide. Yeah. Right. So, now, the, guys, these are all double replacement reactions. Yeah. We've mm -hmm. talked about these in uh, Unit 4. Yeah. Um, and so the H goes with the OH to make water, HOH. H -O -H. It's actually best to write water yeah. as HOH because when you balance it, it's, um, it's easier. Yep. And Plus. then the sodium is going to get together with the chloride. Now you have to play the charge game. Mm -hmm. Sodium has a charge of positive 1 and chloride has a charge of minus 1. So that's just simply NaCl. NaCl. And that balances. So mm -hmm. that's pretty easy. But let's do one that's got a little more charge uh, uh, interest. Okay. okay. So let's take H3PO4, phosphoric acid, and let's react it with um, uh, KOH. KOH. Cool. All right. So All that's right. going to make a, well, water. It's it a, does. It's neutralization. Yep. H-O-H-O. -H okay. And then potassium is going to get together with the phosphate. So yes. we got to play the play charge, the charge game. game. K has a charge, positive one. Phosphate, PO4. Look on the back of your product Minus table. Minus three. Negative trace. Charges don't add up to zero, Sam. Nope. I need three potassium. Yes, you do. K, three, PO4. Now we've got to balance the equation. Put a line in front of each. 
All right, who's the most complex? Oh, it looks like the potassium mm -hmm. phosphate is. He's got three of them, so I'm going to put a one there. i got to go back here. i got to fix my potassium, so put a three here. Mm -hmm. All right, that gives me three OHs. That's the three OHs here. Yeah, so, so put, I put a three, and that gives me three Hs. Hey! There's three Hs there? Three Hs there. Now, one thing we should mention here, acids have acidic properties. Basic Bases have basic properties, right. and when you mix them together in equal quantities, you no longer have acid properties. You no longer have base properties because the thing that made it an acid and the thing that made it a base, they smush together to make water. And water is neutral, which is why these are called neutralization reactions. Well, that like, makes sense, Mr. Sims. I, it does. You, you make sense today. What's Thank up you. with that? I, you know, it's the you afternoon. You were sour earlier, and now I you're like making coffee. sense. I had coffee. My back's feeling better. I got this nifty new chair. Let's do another one. How about H3PO3? PO4. PO, no, three. three. Oh, there's a three. Phosphorus. Hey, look, it's a, it's a three there on the screen. I know. Um, and let's react that with um, calcium hydroxide. All right. This is a good one. Mm, this should be fun. This is the six guy. All right. All right. So, hey. Water. Water. H-O-H. Huh. Huh. Plus, all right, calcium. Okay. Calcium mm. has plus two charge. Phosphite. 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 Yes. Phosphite. It's negative three. Yep. Those do not cancel out. I must make a six. Yes. So if I make a six, C I need a three of a one and a two of the other. Yeah. So it's a C A a three and a P O three a two. Wow. You, now you're like fading into some uh, almost Italian. Uh, yeah. This it's is, a two. I yeah. think this is new. This yeah. Is, so it's a C A a three a P O a three a two and it's like need this is complex one right yes. here. This is the most complex. So this is the most complex yep. one. So, so guys, start with the one, the one that has here. most stuff in it. And so I got a calcium problem. So I'm going to fix the calcium problem by putting a three mm -hmm. here. That gives me six hydroxides. hydroxides. Now the hydroxides are here. So put a line in front of here. That'll give me a six. Six H's. Now if I come over here and I have three H's, so I'm going to put a two in front of that. Now that gives me how many phosphites? Two phosphites. Two phosphites. But hey, look, you have two right there. It's done. Ding. Guys. That's it. That's it. Pretty simple, huh? Yeah. Just balance equations. Yep. You've done and, this before. And you make water. H-O-H. What do you make? H-O-H. Bye.